This weekend, the city of Atchison dedicated both a sculpture and monument that recognizes a dark chapter in its past. Good evening, everyone, and happy Father's Day to you. I'm Ron Johnson. Both additions to the city's pedestrian mall are the result of research done by an assistant professor over at Benedictine College who revisited the town's history of lynching. We spoke with that professor about the importance of sharing this dark past and his hope that doing so will put the city on the path towards a brighter future. It has movement, it is one line that doesn't break, kind of that common thread of humanity. That's what I see when I look at it. Each person's interpretation of this sculpture in downtown Atchison is a bit different. It means harmony. It, it means a group. They all stand together because they are together. The piece of art called Reflections is one of the newest public art sculptures in the city. This past Saturday, it was dedicated along with a monument that describes the story of George Johnson, a black man who was lynched here in 1870. There have been rumors for years that something like this may have happened, but now we have confirmation of that. Joshua Wolf, an associate professor of American history at Benedictine College, says his involvement began while discussing current efforts to pass anti-lynching legislation in class when a student posed the question. So I was discussing that effort by the NAACP when a student put up his hand and, and asked me if there had ever been a lynching in Atchison. So I started visiting the, the Kansas History Room uh, in the Atchison Public Library, just going through back issues of local newspapers decade by decade. It was there where he found Johnson's story. Johnson was lynched by a mob of at least 50 white men. The monument says he was dragged and shot at before finally being hanged in front of a massive crowd. As this sign indicates, nobody was ever charged, nobody was ever indicted, nobody was ever prosecuted despite thousands of witnesses. Now, more than a century and a half later, this national monument, along with the sculpture, aims to get current residents and visitors to reflect on this past. Well, people will see this and they'll engage with it. National monuments such as this that recognize our shortcomings, our failures as a society, they remind us of the work that there is to be done. That work still ongoing, as the sculpture and monument are just one part of how the town is evolving towards a brighter future. It began with the renaming of Division Street to Unity Street. There's really great engagement uh, between the community and, and the city of Atchison Police Department. The school board deciding to retire uh, the nickname Red Men. This memorial for George Johnson. All of this is indicative of, of a more inclusive community history moving forward. And when you have a more inclusive community history, you have a more inclusive community. Both the city of Atchison and Benedictine communities came together to make the monument and sculpture a possibility.